an incredibly, incredibly short connection at Matbox, but we need to make. I need this bus to be on time, which is 50-50 at the moment. Thank you. Hello, and good evening from a picturesque Matlock. Oh, I'm expecting to see a bus behind me at any moment. Welcome to part three of our challenge to see how far we can get from London by bus in just two days. So yes, in the last video, we were faced with a very, very tough and tight connection here at Matlock. I've just spent about the past five or six minutes sprinting through the streets of Matlock to try and get to this next bus stop to try and sh shave off a few minutes because that connection was looking way too tight. But we are here at the Causeway Lane bus stop to take off our next bus of the day, which is going to be the X-17, which we're taking to Sheffield. Now Matlock is a beautiful town, but and I would love to spend longer here but the reason we're here is to get out of it as quickly as possible as demonstrated by our X17 operated by Stagecoach Gold taking us to Sheffield Hey, can I single to Sheffield please? Thank you Very, very, very steep hills on our ascent out of the valley in Matlock. Us is really struggling to get up these. Yes, this is part three of our challenge to see how far we can get from London in just two days. It is currently the end of the first day, so we've made very, very good progress. If you haven't already seen parts one and two, then they are linked down in the description below. Listen to the engine. Wow, very hilly. Now we've had a lot of very pretty views on our journey today, but I don't think any of them beat this one. You can see far and wide. That town over there with the church with the crooked spire I believe is Chesterfield which is one of the t is it is Chesterfield the city one of the cities slash towns that we'll be going through on our way to Sheffield what a view and here we are at Chesterfield coach station there are passengers getting on board the X17 on the f in front of the Sheffield which is just leaving now which means that we now have the top deck to ourselves. The family sitting at the back of the bus just now. And as we're sitting at the bus stop they realised, oh we need to get off now. And just as well they did, because this bus does not stop until Sheffield. They would have had a long trek home otherwise. And well, what have I done this time? Now the theme of this video really has been express bus routes. We've been on so many express bus routes today and they've allowed us to get incredibly far from London thanks to these huge stretches with hardly any stops on which bring up our average speed so much and it's thanks to that that we're about to cross the border from Derbyshire into South Yorkshire just as we did last time but a whole day earlier. So Derbyshire, 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 and as we come up to the boards, City of Sheffield, we are now in South Yorkshire, we are in Yorkshire, we are in the north of England. 
Sheffield put its clean air zone in a couple of years ago, the streets are deserted. There are hardly any cars around here, which is a very good thing. It means that the buses can just fly straight through. Thank you. And welcome to Sheffield Interchange. Let's have a little day one debrief, shall we? So we're right here at Sheffield Interchange, approximately 12 hours, maybe just under 12 hours, uh, after departing New Cottage Farm at bus stop. It feels like ages ago, New Cottage Farm bus stop at the very extremity, northern extremity of London. So, and last time it took us two days to get from London to Sheffield, but we have done it today in just one day. We're going to be back here early tomorrow morning uh, to continue our journey northwards on yet another X17 bus. The X17 actually does go further north from here, but because it's quite late in the evening, all the services are terminating here at Sheffield Interchange. I've got a few bits and pieces left to do this evening. Maybe I'll show you my hotel. Oh, here we are. It's a very small room, but again, this was 35 quid. This is, before I make it too messy, this is the Easy Hotel Sheffield. Easy Hotel are a um, part of the EasyJet group. So they take the same premise as EasyJet is offering um, affordable but still good quality product. As I mentioned, it's quite small, but for one night, for one person, it will perfectly suffice. You just come from there. Just come. You basically think I'm going to watch EastEnders? No, no. So good morning everyone, we've just got up here in Sheffield having stayed overnight at our Easy Hotel and we're back on our way to the bus station to get our next X17. Um, we were on the X17 yesterday as you may have seen but we are getting this one further north to Barnsley, up to Barnsley. And the reason we couldn't do this yesterday is because we got into Sheffield so late yesterday evening um, that no more X17 services were actually running to Barnsley so we have to do this today. Also comes in our next bus and our second X17 of the trip, this time operated by an Envira 400 MMC, which is going to take us to Barnsley. Oh yeah, you're going to Barnsley? I am going to Barnsley. It's going a bit slow. Okay. There you go. Cool, thank you very much. Thank you. Slightly different seats from last time. And USB sockets this time. As well as a personal reading lamp. Touch sensitive reading lamp on a bus seat. That's very cool. So our X17 route is actually very interesting because for the first few miles of a trip we head through the suburbs of Sheffield and through Meadow Hall and eventually to Rotherham. But once we pass Rotherham, we go for the first time of a trip on the motorway, like the actual motorway, the M1. Which I think is slightly odd, because I thought it was a requirement to have seat belts for all buses on motorways, but this bus does not have seat belts. As we come into Meadow Hall Interchange. Meadow Hall Interchange is one of the largest shopping centres in the north of England, and also houses a massive interchange with the train and the tram and the tram train, believe it or not, here. And this is the bus station here in Meadowhall, which is where we finished our trip last time. This is as far as we got. But no, it's only eight in the morning, as opposed to five o'clock in the evening when we were here last time, and we're continuing further north. And 
As you can see, we have blue signs. So we're joining the M1 motorway. I think we probably will get up to some serious speed here because we are running a little bit late. This is probably the only time that I've actually been on a bus on the motorway. Have you ever been on a bus on the motorway? Let me know down in the comments below if you have. Anyway, we're just coming up to our exit for Barnsley South. We have covered most of the distance between Sheffield and Barnsley on the motorway, going at 50 60 miles an hour in about 8 minutes. So that is very good going for an express route. So here we are in Barnsley. These are the railway lines just through here that run through Barnsley. And behind it, is a huge, huge bus station, which I think I can already see our bus. Well, this might be the biggest bus station of a trip so far. Thank you. So for our next bus, we're going to be travelling to Wakefield from here, operated by Globe Holidays, which is um, seems to be a bus operator around this sort of area, um, but their primary business is in providing day coach trips. So if you've ever been on the day coach trip from Yorkshire, there's a good chance you've travelled with Globe Holidays. But they do operate bus services as well, which we'll be travelling on today. Hello, can I have a single to Wakefield, please? Uh, yeah. Hello, holidays. We're we going on holiday today. Oh, this looks like a nice seat here. There's lots of legroom. As we go in our luxurious holiday seat on Globe Holidays to Wakefield. Barnsley is actually a more picturesque town than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just going to be a very average South Yorkshire town, but it's quite pretty actually. Does this bus not have a handbrake? This bus is only four years old, but it's really not in the best of condition at all. You can see broken stop signs, little notes posted around the bus to say which bells are working and which bells aren't. Lots of remains of stickers and graffiti and stuff like that all over the seats as well as what looks like a cigarette burn. And what sounds like a very, very knackered turbo. This bus has seen better days, and it's only four years old. Nevertheless, despite the poor maintenance, this does seem to be a bus, the sort of bus route where the driver knows a lot of the passengers. We've just stopped just outside someone's house and have picked that passenger up. So the driver obviously knows this passenger's routine, so it's quite a friendly route. Pretty views again, as we send our way through the valleys towards Wakefield. detour into inside the Yorkshire Sculpture Park grounds. There are some sculptures. This is a bit interesting. Merry Christmas, apparently. If you're watching this video and it's Christmas, have a very Merry Christmas. Anyway, just up there is Wakefield Kirkgate Railway Station. So we are right in the middle of Wakefield at the moment now. It's a sea of blue as we come into Wakefield bus station because this is an area very much dominated by a river and we are coming in on completely the opposite side of the bus station to the side we need to be on. So we have a bus starting in less than five minutes time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers, thank you. 
Arriva, 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 Arriva. Huh, and our next boss has just started boarding. It's this one. The 110 to Leeds. Okay, I'll sing to Leeds, please. Yeah, I'll sing to Leeds, please. Yeah. Cool, thank you. Get on board. Our Arriva right street deck. This is Arriva Sapphire, so this is supposed to be Arriva's more upmarket brand. This is one of the rather odd looking street decks from the outside, which have the reduced height roof. You get these in some parts of the world. I'd love for you to pull out of Wakefield bus station on our next bus, operated by Arriva. That's a single stagecoach vehicle here. Anyway, we are on the 110 bus, which is the primary bus route operated by Arriva linking Wakefield and Leeds. It is incredible. Thank you. Uh, it is the um, incredibly frequent at running every 15 minutes, so you're not in too much deep trouble if you miss one of these. It's got USB charging and it's got free Wi Fi. So it's a very functional bus route above everything. This is a very fast route actually, despite it being very residential and making lots of stops because it uses a lot of very fast roads. Well, that was quick, one of the shorter bus journeys of our trip. We've arrived at Leeds City Bus Station. Leeds being one of the largest cities in the north of England. And this is where we're going to finish our part today. Thank you. Anyway, it's here at Leeds City Bus Terminal. Let's look at the departure board. I'll let you think which bus is it that we're going to be getting on to from here for the start of part four and how far do you reckon we're going to get north from here? As our 110 prepares to depart back for Wakefield. So if you have enjoyed what you've seen in this part then do click the like button down below and do consider subscribing if you want to see how far we get in part four, the final part of our two day bus challenge. But I look forward to working back next time. But I'll see you from Leeds City Bus Station. What bus could we possibly be getting next? Bye everyone.